Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about 10 things I no longer buy anymore. And these are things I probably haven't bought in a couple of years. Uh, so I'm gonna go through them. They, Some of them are like hygiene, some of them are home and cleaning. Uh, but I have found alternatives for these products that work either better or just the same as the alternative, which a lot of times are single use items or ones that are just you know, uh, causing, you know, harm to the environment that I don't think is necessary. So if I can find something that works just as good or if not better, I'm definitely open to switching. So I'm not perfect. I will say that uh, there's lots of things I use that I'm sure are wasteful, uh, but I'm trying my best and I want to kind of just encourage you guys to look at things that you have in your everyday life and maybe things that you could swap out for more eco-friendly, sustainable items. I want to do this video in celebration of Earth Day, which is next Monday, I think it's a really awesome opportunity to kind of just look at your life and reduce your carbon footprint, reduce your waste in the world, and hopefully encourage yourself and others around you to make better choices for our, our planet Earth, our home, the home of your, your kids and your family. And it's just, I feel like there's a lot of things going on in the world right now that is just really awful and you know sad sometimes, but I think it's important to remember that you as an individual can make a really positive and larger scale impact uh, just by like I said, influencing even people around you. I'm gonna take advantage of my platform here on YouTube and hopefully influence you guys out there to make some positive changes and reduce your uh, own personal waste in the world and in your everyday life. So let's hop right into the video. Make sure you stick to the end of the video because I have an exciting new uh, bundle that we're gonna be launching on the shop in celebration of Earth Day and I'm really excited. So uh, let's hop into the video and I will share with you guys the 10 things I do not buy anymore. All right, so this is in no order, uh, but we'll just hop right in. So first thing I no longer buy anymore is tampons or pads or any really menstrual disposable items. So if you guys have been following my channel, you probably know I talk about it a lot, the menstrual period cup. So I use a diva cup and it is something that I've used probably for like six years. I've used it for a while. I started using it when Matt and I were uh, backpacking and traveling through Australia and Southeast Asia. And I just thought the idea of carrying boxes of tampons all the time with me was just like, just inefficient of the space in my backpack. So I decided to try a silicone cup for my periods and it was life-changing. I have other videos where I talk about, I have like a whole how to survive your period video. I will link that down below. And I just think that these are a girl's best friend. I know it, it seems a bit weird, the concept, but once you get used to it, it is life-changing. You can swim with them. They're comfortable. You can leave them in longer for many reasons. I love the period cup and there's other brands, but I've only really tried the diva cup. I've been really happy with it and I just could not recommend it enough. Next up, we have napkins and paper towels. So Matt and I have not really purchased these in a few, quite a few years now. Matt is also very into eco-friendly items. He hates anything that's like single use uh, and will av avoid them at all costs. So with paper towels, there have been times that we've bought in them for either different photo shoots that we're doing or like because we deal with a lot of food and stuff, sometimes there's there's situations that we need paper towels, but for the most part, we don't have them in our regular life. I feel like when you don't have them, you just don't think about it and you don't feel like you need them. Uh, so instead, we actually just use uh, tea towels. So we use ones that you can just pop into the wash when you're done. This is what we use for filming. Uh, you know, we go through probably 10 of these when we're filming uh, recipe videos and then I just throw them all in the dishwasher or the, not the dishwasher, the laundry, um, the washing machine, that's what it's called. The washing machine and I can reuse them again. And we, like I said, we rotate and cycle through them a lot, uh, but I just make sure to kind of throw them in with my regular wash and you can reuse them. So I love items that you can constantly reuse and reuse and avoid using things that are single use, like using a paper towel and then throwing it out right away doesn't seem productive to me. There are other brands that are coming out with using recycled uh, paper and stuff. I think that's awesome. And making sure that they are um, ones that you can compost, maybe ones that aren't bleached. Uh, so we're not completely anti paper towels, but we just don't buy the regular ones on, um, on a regular basis. So highly recommend just get yourself some tea towels it's, you're gonna save money. A lot of these things, you save money by being friendly to the environment. 
The next item that Matt and I do not buy anymore are Ziploc bags or like the, just like the plastic bags that you usually will put a sandwich in, snacks, or, and you end up like telling yourself you're gonna wash it and reuse it and dry it but really you end up throwing it out and I just think that they're really wasteful and I have been using reusable silicone, um, these are stasher bags, but we've been using these for years now. They're amazing. You can use them for really anything from like traveling and putting your toiletries in them to cooking in them, freezing things in them. They, we have so many colors of these on the shop. We have small, like snack size ones. These are the medium or large ones on the shop. And then we have like jumbo ones uh, that I use for like freezing uh, bananas for my smoothies or marinating meat in them. I, I love them and we use these all the time. They're super easy to wash. You just throw them in the dishwasher and you can use them again. So they're amazing. Highly recommend trying them out. And the seal on them is so snug. You can put liquids in them and nothing's coming out. Like sometimes I can't even open them. So it has an amazing seal to it and they, in my opinion, work better than Ziploc bags. The next thing we don't buy anymore is toilet paper. No, I'm just kidding. We still buy toilet paper. We're not that extreme yet, but you know, who knows? Um, I mean, I use period cups, so you never know what's gonna happen. The next thing we no longer buy are paper plates. Uh, this is something that you usually see at family dinners, par birthday parties. You got the paper plates, you use them for two seconds and they all go in the garbage. Uh, and a lot of times they're like printed with all these colors and stuff, which like, I don't even know if it's biodegradable or whatever, but uh, usually they're just ending up in the landfill. So Matt and I, I don't think we've ever bought in disposable plates. Uh, because yeah, we just don't really agree with them. We just think, use your regular plates, throw them in the dishwasher, reuse them. I mean, we haven't been in situations where we've um, had to feed like a large amount of people and had to like figure out how many plates we need for that. If that's the case, you can purchase like uh, compostable or biodegradable um, plates and bowls and cutlery and stuff those are out there but I'm talking about the ones that are like just obviously not made are not uh, compostable or biodegradable they're just ones you throw out and they just probably take years to break down or the plastic ones that like God knows when those break down so we just choose to uh, use our current plates and bowls and cutlery and just throw them in the dishwasher when we're done with them. The next item that we do not purchase is Drano or like some kind of, I love that I'm mentioning certain brands in this video, but they're just ones that like people under recognize a little bit more, like the Ziploc bags, but Drano or like harsh chemicals to unclog your drains, we don't buy. It like hurts my soul anytime someone puts that down the drain. I just think it's so like the chemicals and the smell, there's drain clogged decloggers or whatever out there that they say you have to like open up the windows and it's really strong. And that's just not something I wanna be putting back into my water or putting it, like using around me in my home. Uh, so instead we use a gadget like this. So there's a couple of things that you can use uh, to unclog your drains because I get it, like having long hair, our shower drain probably gets clogged like monthly. It's, I don't know, oh my, I'm surprised I have hair on my head. It just all falls out and it ends up in the drain and it clogs and I've used more like natural uh, Drano alternatives before and they just did not work. So I won't be spending my money on that anymore because they were actually quite expensive, the one I picked up. Uh, but this is actually one that I'm, I borrowed from my stepdad because I before have used one, I'll insert a photo here. It's like a long kind of bristle brush one and I liked it, but like it, eventually you can only use it a few times before it kind of like fell apart. So defeats the purpose, I guess, of trying to like get stuff that you can reuse again and again. So this is actually like a snake, a drain snake. It's not for your toilet, so don't worry. Um, <coughs> And you basically, oh, there's like some hair on it, but uh, you basically run it down your drain and then you do this and you're like, it's like a corkscrew and it pulls up all the hair. It's amazing. It can also pull up like, my parents had a clog in their sink and there was like a little measuring spoon in there and it actually pulled it up. So it's super handy to have something like this and you can just reuse it again and again. I will link this one down below. I think my stepdad said it was like $15, so we're actually gonna buy the, this exact same one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think they work better. You're not using chemicals and it's cheaper. It's cheaper than buying, like you're not gonna have to keep rebuying the drain 
unclogging solutions. The next thing I no longer buy are makeup wipes. So a lot of them are ones that you just end up throwing out. I don't know if they're biodegradable. I think maybe some more natural ones are, but I really choose to not buy them. And instead I use just face washcloths that I just throw in the washing machine once I'm done with them. I use one of these probably every single day to wash my face, to pat my face dry, so I know I'm using a clean uh, cloth each time. And like I said, I just throw these in the washing machine and I reuse them. I like to do the white, uh, white ones. And you know, sometimes they get dirty, but I just like uh, wash them on hot water and then I'll put some white vinegar in there to really keep them, keep them nice and white and disinfect them and they work great every time. The next thing I don't buy anymore are dryer sheets. So instead I use dryer balls. So these are just dryer balls made from uh, wool. So I guess if you are vegan, these are not vegan friendly, but I'm sure there's an alternative that they have out there that you can get. But basically these are reusable dryer sheets. They help reduce static. They help uh, your clothes dry quicker. You can add essential oils to them, which will make your sheets and your bedding smell really, really nice. Uh, what else? They're just like great. They're reusable and we've had these for like, I'm going to say a couple years now and we just love them. I just think it's a way better um, option than dryer sheets. Dryer sheets are actually really bad for your health. The chemicals they get off that you're breathing in are actually not so good for you. You guys can look them up and Google it and stuff, but you know, do your own research, but I choose not to use them for health reasons and also for the impact on the environment. So I love these. They work. They do the trick and they're just they're just fun you know you can juggle with them add essential oils to them they're great we love them and we use them every time we wash our laundry the next thing we don't buy anymore are plastic disposable straws so instead we use these glass and stainless steel straws we sell these on the shop by the way i will link anything i'm mentioning in today's video that we sell on the shop down below in case you didn't know we have an online wellness uh, shop that we sell anywhere from eco and friendly and like sustainable kitchen items to cleaning items to self-care things. So there's a whole variety on there. You guys can check it out. I have a link down below. Um, but pretty much we use just, or we only use uh, reusable glass and stainless steel straws. These are so easy to use. They're, I actually enjoy using them um, better than plastic straws. They feel really nice when you're sipping through them. And they uh, are easy to clean. We sell them with this little scrubber brush and as long as you rinse them right away when you're done using them, they're really easy to clean. I throw them in the dishwasher. They're super convenient and they're, they look prettier. They're more fun. Uh, some people are worried about glass straws. They're shatterproof straws. They don't break. Um, I mean, I've had like one chip on me before because I like slammed it, accidentally like slammed it off of the tile floor, but they, they take a, like, you'd have to really try to break them. Uh, they are really resilient. So if you're really worried about glass straws, even though I've used them for years, you can get the stainless steel ones. They're great too. And these are way more eco-friendly. You can take them with you. I'm not sure if we have them up on the shop just yet, but we're looking into holders for your straws. So you can actually take them with you if you're going to like a Starbucks or a coffee shop or something and you wanna have one with you. So you're not having to use one at that restaurant that you're at. Um, so keep an eye on the shop, but we love these and I use one every morning for my lemon water for my smoothie They're the best next thing is water bottles plastic water bottles So we actually do not buy cases of plastic water bottles here I know it's like a lot of families buy them and then like people will take like two or three with them to work or school a lot of them end up just like in your car not even being used and especially if it's like summertime and you have water bottles in your car the like the plastic is so thin that it's just like leaching stuff into your water uh, if you have a water bottle that's been in the car all day in the heat do not drink it i mean like i said do your own research google i'm not a doctor or a scientist but i just don't think it's safe to drink a thin plastic water bottle that's been in your car all day in the heat uh, so instead I like to use reusable water bottles that I can fill up with me on the go There's like water fountains everywhere now like you can find you can get free water at Starbucks like just give them your water bottle ask them to fill it up and These are two options that we actually sell in the shop that I personally really love Which is why they're on the shop because we test everything and curate everything that's on the shop And we only have things on there that I personally use in my life and love so this uh, health net water bottle has been around since the very beginning and this is actually one of the water bottles I used for a very long time and you guys actually requested you're like 
where is that water bottle? I need to buy one. So we got a custom one done. This one says um, hydrate, meditate, create. And I just think it's so cute. It's just a reminder to take care of your basic needs first, like hydration, food, sleep, and then take care of your self care, uh, mental health, like meditation. And then once you have those both down, you can, uh, you can start to create and put out there into the world your magic. So uh, the next one's create. So I love this saying and the messaging behind this water bottle. It comes with a diffuser in the middle. You can, it actually will encourage you to drink more water. You can put like fruit, fresh herbs in there. It's delicious. And then we also have a glass option. So this one's really light. I like this one to put my smoothies in because it's really big and it has a wide mouth. So it's actually really easy to clean. And then this one here are the new glass Soma water bottles. I love these. They have a silicone sleeve on them, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. We have this in a few different colors, so uh, you, can, you guys can check that out on the shop. But just get yourself a really cute reusable water bottle so you don't have to buy those single-use plastic water bottles. So um, yeah, we just, we don't need them. They end up in the waste field and oceans, and it's really sad, so try not to Try not to buy those when you can. Last but not least, we no longer buy a plastic wrap. So instead, we like to buy these Bees Wax Resin Reusable Food Wrappers. I have a couple different brands here. This one's a Bego, and then I have Bees Wrap, and they're super easy to use, and this one's kinda dirty. Uh, they're really easy to use and wash and take care of, and you just wanna make sure that you're washing them in cold water because hot water will kinda melt the wax on them. Um, but they work really good for like wrapping up dough or um, leftovers or anything that you're gonna pop in the fridge. They do the trick, they will seal on your containers and you know, it just helps reduce plastic wrap. We have foil and plastic wrap in our cupboards. We, a while ago we bought some at Costco and we've had the same rolls probably for like almost three over two years now. And I use them sparingly, like once in a while when I need foil or plastic wrap for whatever reason, when these won't cut it, I will use it. But like, it's not something I buy all the time and I'm really mindful about when I use it. So like I said, I, Matt and I are not perfect. Like we're not saying that we don't have any waste. We are zero waste here in the Health Nut home. That is definitely not true, but we just try to make a conscious effort into making sure that our actions every day are not you know um adding to the the waste that's happening in today's world so you know we try to do our best it's not always perfect sometimes we forget our reusable grocery bags when we're going grocery shopping you know things like that happen it's life we're not perfect uh but we just try to do our best when we can so there you have it those are the 10 things that i no longer purchase anymore hopefully you guys found this video inspiring and helpful i would love to know three things that you feel like you don't buy anymore in your life, leave me a comment down below. Also in celebration of Earth Day, we're doing a coupon code Earth Day for 15% off the entire Health Nut shop. It's gonna be available until the end of the month, so definitely take advantage. We're also launching our plastic free bundle, which is basically a, collab or a collection of items that we feel that will help basically re replace and eliminate Re, uh, disposable plastic that you may have in your regular life. So like water bottles, uh, straws, Ziploc bags, all of those things. This bundle will kind of help you guys have like a starter pack into helping you live a more zero waste lifestyle. So be sure to check that out. All the links will be down below. Happy Earth Day. Do something good for the environment this coming Monday and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that red subscribe button down below. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.